So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how that you can share a password or other secret message over unencrypted channels such as email while still keeping the information secure. For this, I'm going to be using a website called onetimesecret.com, and this lets you uh, encrypt the message into a secret URL that can only be accessed once, as well as allowing you to put an optional passphrase to give it extra protection. So onetimesecret.com for this site. There's a few others that you can use. This is just a simple one that I like to use myself. I'm going to um, put in the uh, super secret password that I want to be sharing here. Um, additionally, I'm going to paste in a, a sentence here. Please confirm with me after you've received this password. I like to use this so that the recipient um, can confirm back to me uh, that they've received it and that it wasn't intercepted in the middle. Now here we can put in the optional passphrase. Um, I'm just going to put in a simple password 123, but obviously you can make this more secure. And the idea will be is that you share the secret URL and the passphrase separately so that if only the secret URL is intercepted, the person wouldn't be able to uh, decrypt it without the passphrase. Now the lifetime here is set by default for seven days. That's the maximum if you are not logging in with an account. You can take it all the way down to five minutes if you wish. And this is the default timeout so that if the secret is not uh, retrieved by the person that you're giving it to, it will automatically destroy itself after this time period. Now you can create a free account. All you need is an email address, um, set up an account, and this will let you track different secrets that you're sharing out to see whether they have been opened up or not, as well as extending the lifetime to 14 days. Here I'm not logged in, nothing special, just using this website on its own. So I'm going to uh, create a secret link, big red button, and here it's created a secret URL. And you can see the URL that I'm at is the private URL, so that's private for me. And the secret is the one to share. And I'm going to uh, right click and copy that shared secret URL. Now to simulate what the recipient would look like on their side, I've just got the other tab here. So I'm just going to paste that in, pretending that this would be, uh, you know, you sent this URL by email type of thing. And here it says, this message requires a passphrase. Enter the passphrase and then view the secret. And you can click view, and of course, it doesn't work because I haven't typed in the passphrase. Now, back on our side here, we can refresh this private URL. And you'll see expires in seven days. So that says that it has not been opened up by the recipient yet. So you've shared the secret URL with your recipient, and then you share the passphrase with them separately. That's optionally if you created a passphrase. So if you're sending it by email, you could then send the passphrase over a telephone call or something like that, or send it through a different channel that hopefully wouldn't be intercepted as easily. At an absolute bare minimum, you could send this in a separate email um, so that it's, uh, it's done that way. So I'm just going to type in password123, which was the uh, super amazingly uh, secret passphrase, and then click on view secret. And now it shows the message, super secret password, please confirm after you've received it. And it has the warning here, careful, we'll only show this one time. If we now refresh this page, it's gone. This is like a, a one-time use, it's now being burned off the server. Now, to see that back on the sender side, if we refresh the private URL, received about 30 seconds ago, and that shows that the recipient or somebody has opened it up, and hopefully the recipient will confirm after they've received it so that I know that they received it correctly. And the recipient, they can select, they can right-click, they can copy, and then they can use that password, add it into a password manager, whatever they need to be doing. Now, just to show you what it would look like if they try and go to this address again. So we'll just uh, go and hit enter. And you can see that it's already been burned off the server and it's gone. And nothing will be changing on the private side. This was received over a minute ago. And that's how you can use onetimesecret.com to send a passphrase or uh, password or similar secret information over insecure channels, such as maybe a chat message over an email. Um, and you can then optionally have a separate password or passphrase to protect that URL. And it's one-time use. 
and can only be accessed at one time before it gets burned off the server. Additionally, if you wish, this one-time secret, they actually have the source code available on GitHub, so you can actually download the code and run up your own server if you wish to do this as well. Thanks for watching the video, and hope that you uh, join me for the next one.